one of the most difficult part of the green card lottery application is to make sure that you have a photo which meets all requirements and many people they get stuck on application because they don't have the photo which meets the qualification and the requirements so on this video i'm going to show you how you can properly take your photo and edit your photo to meet requirements for the green card lottery welcome to the ebm scholars show my name is Ernest Bonifas Makulilo talking to you from my home office in Belton, Missouri in the United States of America. You can see here I put one of the photos and I will explain why I chose that particular photo. But before I continue, I would like to ask two things from you. One, to make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that I can be able to send more videos. They can come directly uh, to your inbox or notification but also to make sure that you share this video to your colleagues so that they can also have the chance or opportunity to edit their photo. So when you are applying for the green card lottery, as I said, one of the requirements is to make sure that you take a photo with the particular uh, requirements. So let's go and look about the requirements which are required for the green card lottery application. So these are the requirements. They are not a lot, but they are very technical. Uh, the photo is supposed to be taken within six months. The reason of that is we believe that within six months people change and especially for the young people, not for the, if you are adult, you are not going to change a lot, but just make sure that you have a photo within six months. So whether you take today or tomorrow and you can take a photo using your cell phone, you can take a photo using a camera, things of that nature. So just take a photo and the photo must be having a white background. So that is something else. And I will explain to you and I will show you some of the photos how they are supposed to look like. But there is no access or there is no require, you are not required to wear glasses. Uh, two years ago, you were allowed to wear glasses if you have prescription glasses. But uh, last year and this year, you are not allowed to wear glass. And there is a maximum uh, uh, size of the photo is supposed to be as you can see over there is 240 kilobytes and the image resolution is supposed to be from 600 to 600 up to uh, 100 in, 100 in, uh, 1200 pixels times 1200 pixels. So I go deeper a little bit to make sure how do you follow these uh, procedures. As I said, the background is supposed to be white and the, there is no requirement for this, but I usually advise people to make sure that you don't wear the white shirt white gown white dress because if you are white and the background is white it doesn't look good so wear something a little bit of different color uh to make sure that you give the distinction between your color and the white background uh you can use your cell phone or camera because that is the question i'm uh, people asking can i use my cell phone yes you can use your cell phone why why do they put the uh the the camera on their cell phone is because they allow people to take a phone i mean take a photo with the phone so that is something which is easy. Don't print out of print out that photo because many people they try to print out the photo and then they are going to scan. It is a digital photo. You don't need it to print out and then you scan. That is just wasting your time. And don't be too close to the camera. Don't be too close to the lens because if you do that way, when you are going to do cropping and resizing of your photo, it will be acting funny and you will not be able to uh, take the proper measurement. So, let's go and see. So, one of the requirements is uh, don't be too much close to the camera. Uh, that means allow space. Allow space in all sides. When I say allow space, you can see there is a space above this person. There is a space on both all sides of the all, all the sides. That means if you are going to, to crop this photo, you can have the proper kind of uh, the proper size of the photo without appearing and i use this lady because one of the questions i get asked can i wear a job yes you can wear a job you are allowed to wear a job can i keep my beard yes you can do that yeah so that is one of the photo which allow all the space you can see again this one there is a space bigger space here there is bigger space here bigger space here so the person while he was taking the phone i mean this photo didn't 
take a photo like these two clothes you see if you take these two clothes it will be a difficult but someone is too a little bit further to take the photo and allowing uh, someone to be able to, a, a little bit at, at a distance you see this gentleman again is a little bit far and again as i said if you can see all these pe people they are wearing different kind of color of their dresses or shirt or something like that it's not like pure white and the background is white as you can see then this is one of the mistake people are doing they print out this is a passport photo they print out and then they after printing out they are going to scan it this is not allowed don't do that so once you take a photo you take a photo that's all this is a mistake again people are, are, are getting too close to the lens so i will show how difficult it is to edit this kind of photo again there is it is too dark on this photo just take the photo outside make sure that you position yourself the especially for um, I'm, I'm black so for the people who are black obviously you have to make sure that the sun is hitting your eyes just don't face the other side it can you can it can be dark or it can create some uh, shadow so you have to make sure that there is no shadow there is no things of that nature as i said you don't wear glasses so that is another thing we want to show uh, what is acceptable what is not acceptable uh, you have to look straight don't look on the side like this person is looking on the side so you cannot see properly this one you look directly on the front okay so this is one of the website which you can be able to uh, edit your photo you don't need to have any computer skills you don't need to be genius it is just less than one minute process to edit your photo you just upload the picture on this website which is called egreencardiphoto.com if you open this one i will open and then i will show you if you open that one you upload your photo and then you crop and then automatically the photo as i said the requirement is the 240 kilobytes not to exceed this one so the photo once you download it will have those kind of measurements and that is the website for applying so let's go to the to, let's go to the website uh the egreencardiphoto.com uh, and see as i said that is the uh what uh the website is called egreencardiphoto.com and that is the website and i'm going to open here and i'm going to show you how it works so this is the website is called egreencardiphoto.com uh, so it's used for editing passport size and it will be okay so that is the website you can see so if you see this website uh, it is very very straightforward it's very easy upload and you can use this website is not apple or something it's just a normal website you can use this website uh, on your phone you can use this one on the computer i'm using just a computer here but you can use it on your phone so don't ask me to do this for you because you can do by yourself so this is the example i'm giving the examples of the photos which they have enough space so this is the photo let's see how it will be so once you do you see this is how it looks like so it gives you a space uh like that i'm giving example uh, so i'm giving example you just you position if you see it is uh you can just make sure you don't have anything then you can decide like okay let me make what i want to be uh to be what you want so you can just position and the instruction they are here you see like how they do they tell you what to do it's just like make sure that way uh the both green side want to be on the on the on, nearby on the neck and another one at the top of the head that what i did and once you do that it's very very easy you come down here you click continue you click continue if you click continue you'll see it it uh, it will appear on the just like a green card uh just like that one it will appear on the card uh so if it appears on the card what we do is just to download so this is the photo 
uh, already downloaded i'm going to save and then i'm going to explain to you what i'm going to do so i'm going to save here and then i'm going to show on this folder uh the photo which uh, i have saved this is what i've saved so if you come here you look on the properties on the properties down there it will give you the the property so the photo is on jpeg which is a requirement is supposed to be is this is a jpeg and then you see the size is uh uh the size is 29.6 almost like this one kilobytes that is the size of this particular photo and it will tell you when the photo was taken created so even if the photo took old but if the day you saved it will determine uh that one let's go to look on the original on the original let's see what is the property what does that say it says it was 34 kilobytes it was automatically uh, that way okay let's use another photo and you will see go back to e green card photo uh, let's go to the website then to upload another photo I will show you how I, uh, when I say don't be too close, what does that mean? So let's take the photo like this person, which I said the person is too close to the, uh, to, to uh, is too too close to the lens. So if this one you put up, you see what happens. That means it is against here. You are told the instruction is to put it very close to 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 your uh, almost to your neck. But here, if you do, because you are too much close to the to the lens, you cannot do this. So let's see what what happens when you, when you are going. If you do this way, the photo you are, it will become like it will, doesn't become like a really a passport photo, because in the end, it you see you become like just from just a neck and up, which is wrong, and this is different from. Uh, this is different from this one which we did you see that is the difference yeah so this is how you do your photo so the, uh everything you do is just within five minutes and then you are done so i don't know if you need this one me to do for you i don't do that for you so i will not be able to be doing these things for other people yeah so again if you look at this one someone again is too close to the camera and this is what is happening you see what is happening you see what is happening the green line don't match so you cannot have this one as a passport just you are your head no but you have to take make sure that you take a photo from a little bit a distance that's why when you send me a photo people are asking how can i do so you see like this person is a little bit further so if you, you are a little bit a distance it gives you more room you can just uh take it out and then decide okay let me put it this way from this way you can just move okay or you can just increase the size uh let me you see it becomes very very easy to edit the photo if you make sure that uh, you have enough space and then again it's very simple you come down here download the photo is here once it is here let's save everything goes direct it goes there and le then let's go to see uh let's go to see the original was this one photo number one what was the uh the property properties what was the it was 83 kilobytes okay let's go and take this one is the one which we have created you see the properties down here it will tell you it is 40 kilobytes but in most of the photos when you take with the phone it will be that way it will give you more than even it will be give like more than 240 kilobytes but once you edit that way that will be how it is so that is the green card photo what i was trying to explain to you uh, that is the explanation and how you can do then uh this is the official website on how to apply the green card lottery dvlottery.state.gov is the official green card application any website without the word gov gov means government dv diversity visa uh 
lottery is a lottery state is department of state gov is government any website without dot gov at the end that is a fake website you see dot com those you surface dot org dot net dot whatever all those are fake this is the official government u.s government website so it has to be from this kind of website if you open this website today there is no application form application form appears when you go to apply in october when the application happens and again it is free of charge it's free you don't pay anybody application starts on the first week of october until the first week of november that is application this year they require a, someone to have a passport to be able to apply and the results usually happen on the first week of may that is how you apply and again my name is Ernest Boniface Makulilo EBM the founder and the CEO of the EBM scholars I live in Missouri United States of America and that is my YouTube channel which I ask you to be able to subscribe go there subscribe share this channel to other people so that they can be able to benefit from everything I'm trying to explain today again this video is about how to take a proper photo uh, which has to meet the requirements for the green card lottery but again how to make sure that the photo you are taking meets all the requirement you are not going to have any mistake to take the photo uh, and how you can be able to edit the photo using the egreencardphoto.com thank you so much again this is Ernest Bonfas Makurilo EBM Makurilo out